Because I, I come out of a background in which for many years I was a, a, a trade unionist, basically working um, in the South African Union of Journalists, um, which is unfortunately now defunct. Uh, for a long time I was involved with journalism safety related issues. Um, and then because I had worked in, in various conflict zones, so this would be places like Guatemala or Darfur or DRC or Lebanon, uh, and, and also societies that had come out of conflict, um, but were still going through the after, aftermath of, of, of such trauma. Um, I decided to, uh, to put together a, a, a social uh, organization that was really just for journalists who work in the field in these either conflict or transitional or traumatic kind of situations um, to, to get together to uh, share best practice on how to navigate such complex societies, um, uh, to protect oneself, uh, not just psychologically, but also physically in the field. Um, also to, to look at the ethics, very complex ethics sometimes. Of, yeah, look, uh, an, an, an older colleague of mine, uh, the woman who in fact taught me to, to become a, a decent investigative journalist, uh, she suffers from PTSD. And after meeting her at her home uh, the one time and watching her going to shock because uh, somebody pressed the, the doorbell with a, a delivery from DHL that she wasn't expecting. So just, just a simple unexpected delivery sent her into this uh, kind of shutdown shock and we had to kind of hug her and hold her and, you know, sort of bring her through it. Um, that made me look at, my, at myself and realize that I, that I had to also get myself looked at and sorted out and, um, so yeah, I went through about a two year period of um, uh, psychological assistance uh, with a psychologist, not a psychiatrist. Um, she's, she, it's like her own unique style of what she's trying to accomplish uh, as a counselor and I'm willing to give it a shot. And then the other woman who I'm supposed to uh, uh, meet up or talk to at the end of the week, she, um, She's a licensed like counselor, and I'll be able to take my script that I have from the doctor, and then they can do an evaluation and all that jazz. So, okay. So I feel like I find, it took months. It took months to even find, you know, support because a lot of places wouldn't even take me if they if um they wouldn't take they wouldn't take uh, me as a as a as a um. Mental block. Patients. They wouldn't take me as a as a uh, client with uh, the therapist um, office because then they might have to back it up with some type of documentation that would have to be put in court. So like we can treat you, but we can't we can't say we're treating you. And I'm like, well, how is that how is that going to help me? You know, like so I was able to finally find someone that's willing to evaluate me. Kind of strange at times what you encounter and it's too much like it's too much like I got two lawyers I gotta deal with and 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 this whole like I gotta I gotta provide them information it's like it's like I have to do all this extra stupid work for what because some stupid cop just was decided to grift me on the highway you know months later so it's like it's it's irritating at times you know, it's irritating to have to manage this whole other project in life when there's other things to do. For me, I think it started with wanting to capture specific moments in my life in an attempt to capture a emotion. Um, and then when I ever go back to that photograph, I can relive it. It's, I think, also a way of being able to go back to that time, you know, to have a reference point so to speak. And so if I am in a place that I 
have lived in or where there has been any, well, anything significant to me happening. I would take a little screen grab of that area. And um, it's also good to go back and see, oh, this is where I was. This is where I used to be. This, because you're ever changing. You're always evolving if you allow the process. What helped me um, was realizing that I am spirit. I've always asked myself the question, if you put a seed in the ground, that's fine and everything, right? That's fine. We know that water and the sun makes it grow. There is a whole process, but there must be a point of where life is, you know, gets uh, where it's birthed, so to speak, and that's spirit. So when you look at nature, there's spirit there, you know what I mean? It's just a certain moment in time where you realize something or say goodbye. And I guess, I guess for me, yeah, I think a good answer to this could be because of the relationship I have with myself. Because I am somebody that sometimes would go and question myself, doubt myself. And I think that's why I need to anchor those little moments in time to say, this is the place I used to be. This is where I was. And I, I also, I, I myself get messages, like I would read into little things when I see two little birds. You know, I would take that into account. You feel it and you let it in. You, your, your growth essentially is amazing.